Once again, today I shall provide a solution to this very particular problem. But before we go into it, it's important for us to define what RMS is all about. RMS simply means the root mean square. The root mean square can be defined as the direct current, which will produce the same power in a given resistor as that of what alternating current AC. That is the meaning of what RMS. So let us go into the whole of the story. We start with the value. In an AC current, the value is I equal to I naught sine omega t in AC. So we go by the next one. That is the value. So we are going toward the square. The square will square the value. So this will square it. So that it should give us I square equal to I naught square sine square omega t. Now from this very state, we have to fall back because we have discussed the average means value. The average mean value. We say that the average means value is the amount of charge transfer in the given interval of time. That was when we were discussing it. And we said mathematically, there is a way how we can write it. Okay? So we said mathematically we can write it like this, that the I average is equal to integral of I dt all over integral of dt for convenience. Okay? So now that we are dealing for one cycle, it simply means that the limit is going to be 0 to t, 0 to t. And at the same time, we are dealing with what? The mean square. It's not only the mean, the mean square. So we're going to have i square, which is the i average square. We're going to give us integral of 0 to t, then i square dt all over what? Uh, 0 to t dt. Okay? So if that is true, we can say this should be equation 1 and this should be equation 2. Okay? We we'll substitute equation 1 into equation 2 so that we have i, i average square will now be equal to uh, integral of 0 to t, then open bracket i naught square sine sine omega sine square omega what t close the bracket all over integral of zero to t dt so from this very step we just integrate go straight and uh, try to what we should factor out the i naught out first so we have i naught square then integral zero to t we have sine square omega t all over integral of 0 to t. Then we have dt. Okay? Then from trig, from, from trigonometry, from trigonometry, what? Uh, identity. From trigonometry, identity. From trigonometry, identity. We say that if you are having signed, if you are having signed uh, square theta, it is going to give us a one minus cos two theta all over two. So we can apply this idea into this because we have having sine omega t. So if that is true, we can just apply it straight. This is going to give us i naught square then integral of 0 to t then open bracket this will be 1 minus uh, cos 2 omega t all over 2 close bracket dt all over integral of 0 to t then dt and if that is true, true, we have, this is a constant, so we take it out. We take it out so that we should have uh, 
i naught square all over 2 then uh, integral we should just integrate it straight we integrate this when you integrate this you have t so you have t when you integrate cos 2 wt you're going to have uh, signed signed uh, 2 wt all over w if you integrate this so close the bracket the limit is what the limit is 0 to t all over if you integrate this you will just have t because this is 0 and this is t zero will just go so you have capital t alone so from there we we'll substitute the limit so that we should have uh we we'll have i naught square all over two omega into t omega minus uh minus minus sine 2 omega t then plus because a minus minus this we're going to become plus for the second uh, phase here so that we have sine 0 if you place 0 there everything will become 0 so it will be sine 0 okay all over t so this number will come up so that we should have i Note square all over 2 omega t okay so that open bracket we have t omega minus <coughs> minus this simply means sine the omega is given as 2 pi over capital T so that we have 2 times 2 pi all over capital T times t then sine 0 plus sine 0 close the bracket so this will be equal to i naught square all over 2 omega t then open bracket t omega then uh, this t will cancel this t so we're going to have minus sine 4 pi plus sine 0 close the bracket so at this very point, we can set i naught square all over 2 omega t uh, into t omega, then sine 4 pi. Pi is 180. 4 times 180 is 720. Sine 720 is equal to 0. So it will be minus 0 plus sine 0 is 0. So close bracket. So finally, we have i naught uh, square all over 2 omega t times t omega this will cancel this so if that is true we can set i uh, which was the average square would be equal to i uh, naught square all over uh, 2 so we look for the square root so we have i is equal to square root of i Note square root of i naught all over 2 and this will going to give us i is equal to uh, i naught all over square root of 2 and this itself is rms this is the rms this rms current will be equal to this o it will now be uh, i i naught multiply by 1 over root 2 and when you multiply that you're going to have this we're going to give us 0 0.1 divided by root 2 give us 0 0.707 then i note and that will going to be our final answer either this i rms is equal to i note all over square root of 2 or 0 0.707 i know and that is it and that is how to find it thank you for
watching. Don't forget, click on the right button, subscribe, so that we should meet in the next class for more problems under AC cycle. Thank you for watching.